Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have another fun meme video featuring the ever so potent combination of Vol'jin plus Trickster plus Macaw plus Terracosa to build virtually unachievable amounts of stats in any other manner in Hearthstone Battlegrounds. And to top it all off, we sprinkle in some spores and some barons to really just make a nice, solid board state. Unfortunately, in this current meta, we have a real problem, which is Reborn Myxna pretty much solos this comp by itself. But we do everything in our power to pivot and pivot and pivot and build millions of health on the board and try to take home that gold. It's a fun one. It's better with spores than it was before. And put in that little ghoul, you can play around opposing spores. It's actually some fun tech. A lot of fun in this game. All right, enjoy. I'm sorry I insulted the game. I don't know what, what I did. But um, I've upset the Hearthstone gods. That's my bad. Okay. Whatever, Blizzard. Whatever, brother. How dare you make fun of Sneed? That's uh fix the resolution. <laughs> like, wait, what happened? Did I lose internet? Um, nope, didn't disconnect me or anything. It just sat there. Just hung. Let's see if anybody else disconnects. Doesn't look like it. Not yet, at least. Panda hero power to spawn and broke the game. How dare he? That's bullshit. Yeah, I'm sure that Toki isn't thrilled with that as the first option, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Yo, Zactify underscore OW underscore Overwatch thank you so much for the prime sub appreciate the support alright are we tripling in the threes or tripling in the fours if we triple in the threes we could get shit up front but we need to level next turn which doesn't necessarily mean it's bad threes for Terracosa and Macaw but you triple for fours if you're trying to win the lobby. Triple for threes for content. I mean... I like you, Kathy. You're cool. <gasps> My brother. Terragosa! Seems a bit ambitious to try to get the trickster to die with 28 health <laughs> at this stage of the game. Don't really need this. 
Your power demons for attack buff? Oh, you're saying these two with each other? I'd rather add health to the key imp, personally, but... Yeah, you can swap two of them so that they, they swap health. No, 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 the Terragosa! Oh, they swap attack, which then in turn gives you an aura buff. But you can still swap, swap this shop. Like, just because it is a nuanced thing that you can know how to do, doesn't make it better than swapping the shop for the same value. Plus the health value. Alright. We can give you one attack. We could give you... Amusingly, what we could do is like, you know, swap the Terragosa with the Wrathweaver and just get this to proc twice pretty reliably on the Terragosa, which is good. Or we could just buy demons next turn and keep making this thing bigger. Until we get a rat, until we get a macaw, and then once we get a macaw, we swap in the trickster, pull Wrathweaver off the board, and then just get Terracosa the proc twice on like 40 health. Felbat now? You guys are, you just don't, you just, no, no memes. We just need birds. <laughs> birds. Birds and demons. Birds. Also, Argus. <laughs> Birds, Barons, and Battlestar Galactica. Indeed. Feel like the only real choice is to swap our two minions. It's not like I keep them, but I'm not dropping the health on the Trickster. So this is more likely to stay than this. So we don't have any good options here. We have far too much power. <laughs> They're right. Hey, we got one. I like you, demon. We don't necessarily sell off the board, otherwise this is good. You're good, and the demon's good. I like you. I'm not going to freeze for it. I think we're going to go in on getting the proc this turn. We're just going to do it this way for short term. We're just going to try to take these smaller procs initially. Because there's no way we're putting 44 health on a trickster and it's going to die before the two Terracosas, right? So we can just play it for like... Getting the small proc. Keep the Terracosa value for now. Then try to swap it back if we got extra health. We need Macaw. Yeah, I mean, we obviously need Macaw, but we can't sit still until we get Macaw. So we gotta do something until we get to that point. Damn, that sucks. Never mind, everything's cool. <laughs> Fucking imp. Yeah, we never go for Argus. 
This is just about Macaw at this point. We don't spend six gold leveling to get an inferior option. Like any taunt is okay, but... We just do it like that now. Try to get these things to die. You can kill them off the board, that's fine and whatnot, but we're basically just making a slightly bigger one that's more likely to die before the Terracosa. Won't ghoul fuck with the bird though? No, absolutely not. We never have seven minions on the board, so he always goes first and kills the ghoul. Oh, much better. There's a story about a frog. But now we can get 28 health added to our Terracosa. We're going to call that good enough for now because we really can't get to a place that's reliably proccing that. Like, we need a Macaw. One Macaw or Golden Terracosa and we're actually a lot better off. Mm, this thing's really big. Yeah, whatever. Yay, big thing smash. Like the reality is we're not playing a meme comp right now, right? Like what we're doing right now is a good tempo board to take top four. If we could get a hold of Macaw, then we could just get an extremely big Terracosa. But unfortunately, we cannot do that. Because we suck at this game. <laughs> Meh. We're not buffing this anymore. Look at that, a macaw! We did it! Oh shit. It's coming home, chat. It's coming home! Ah! People clap! <laughs> it's coming home! <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have singular number of poisons! <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably should swap these two to play around Cleave a little bit. Peepo clap, we're bringing it home. Eight people alive, we can only take 15 here, we're at 32 health still. Now we just need the gold shit and triple in the fives. Reborn on Macaw and Baron are obviously big upgrades, and the triples. Assuming he has seven minions, he always goes first, so he always kills the ghoul, which means the macaw then procs. And if macaw gets shield or gets health from the trickster, then maybe this thing even lives and we can get multiple hits. Now this one's really big, so we don't get like those super turbo like four minute turns of just buffing, buffing, buffing. But it's, you know, 72 health is a pretty good number to start with. Oh, we win this round. <laughs> Get the macaw. No, 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 the macaw. No! Not the same one twice, too. And then hit my, my macaw. He ruined our scaling. That's bullshit. This would have been so good if the macaw gave the macaw health, because it would have proc like three times this fight. Why not ghoul first? He always goes first. And if he starts with cleave, then I'd rather he cleave a Terracosa than cleave a macaw. The person with the more minions on the board always goes first. So, do you expect somebody that's against you to go to have six or fewer minions on like turn 11? Boo game, boo! I just spread the stats out across all of them. I guess we can move some stats to a, to a macaw or something.
too. Yay. Um, how about you and the macaw swap? Maybe you and the macaw? I'm not selling ghoul for triple into a uh, five. Not against that, especially. I like Baron, but the likelihood of hitting it isn't high enough. Argus. There's some world where this could be good in the future, right? Like, we could have made this slightly bigger number, right? Or we can put the Golden Macaw, a bunch of health on the Golden Macaw, and hope it lives through a hit. Because if you're doing that, then you're putting yourself in a position where the Macaw could proc multiple times, and it's going to be way better than just putting this at, like, 80. Right? It's an emotional support Argus. I mean, we did say if you get Argus, you win the game, right? That's totally 100% a direct quote out of this stream. You guys definitely didn't take that out of context and then run with it for a week. We said that, not you? Totally, totally the case, huh? <laughs> um, No reborns? We win this. And we get a ton of scaling. To the right, to the right! Oh, baby. Go do your thing. You know, you should just uh, kill shit. And this shouldn't be taunting the entire time. No, no, no. To the right. There you go. No, no, no. Not yourself. Next turn's gonna be real short. <laughs> real short. To the right. No. Yes. Yes. Eh, that one doesn't matter. Keep hitting this thing. This is the one we need to get the buffs. Go, go! Do your thing! This one! No! 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 Boo! <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're up into the hundreds. There are three people alive. Beasts and mechs. They're going to need some poison. We probably should level. Nah, we probably shouldn't level. We should look for this, then level. Having the fourth unit doesn't justify it. Boo. Boo. Good. Is our meme dream coming true? Is this about to be a Baron? I told you the Argus was going to be useful, guys. <laughs> Definitely do this first, so we get all the stats on one unit, and then swap. Baron, no! 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 Love the ghoul in case of spores? Yeah, just... We've learned by doing over time. This is a little bit better. No spore for you. Oh, baby. This is gonna live through a hit. Hit left once. Hey. Go to the right a bunch of times now. Alright. 3,200. We're off to the races. Too bad he doesn't have a bunch of death rattles. To the right, to the right. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Yes. Woo, 6,000. We get one more? Yeah, we do get one more. 
Light Fang? We can't leave it on the board. Hey, no. No. Hey. If you leave it on the board, you have to bump with it. That means you don't get as many procs of the Macaw for what, a 2 2 bonus? Please. All right. Spore to win the lobby. Baron as an upgrade or more Macaws. Like, those are the only options, right? So I think we're leveling. <laughs> you can play from a car and stay on four because it's more achievable in the short term. Don't have don't have poison. <laughs> no poison. <laughs> we got top two off of it at the very least. Oh shit. He cowed you? I mean she's just gonna have poison. We have Beast in the lobby, unfortunately. And he has four triples. Just reborns in my ex and then wins the lobby. We need to get a spore or two to actually have a shot here. This is definitely a YouTube video. We've done a few of them in the past, but yeah, it's probably a YouTube video regardless. It's just a fun one to relive, even if you don't get all the way there. Don't happy cow me, you little shit. This doesn't really work in this meta. Is the selfless worth it because of the ghoul? No, absolutely not. Why would I want the, the selfless? Like, you can make the argument that you put it on the board, and then you're like, okay, cool, the ghoul blows up, so therefore the selfless hero shields some shit. If he had poison taunted and it was low health, then maybe. But that's about it, right? Can chat write your intro monologue for YouTube? Argus is OP, Argus is... <laughs> down buddy you're okay he's back there whining he's all excited there's all kinds of dogs here don't you dare have poison well good news is ghoul takes care of one of them bad news is that uh that thing's huge but this could connect with it, and we do win the round. We just have to beat him multiple times, and he just needs to find more poison. We don't get any more scaling either. Terragusa smash. <laughs> he just needs like a blood gem <laughs> for a spore, and we're fucked. That's not true. He needs two blood gems, and he's, there's no cool boys in this lobby. Is he gonna get there, chat? Restart, and turn's not that long. Like, this fight, we'll still have 60 seconds or whatever. Just play selfless? I mean, we're probably playing selfless now. We talked about that, like, a little taunted poison is something we should play selfless about, or with. Find ourselves a spore or two would be really good to win the lobby. Ah! But, but I, but, but I have to swap the spore with stats in order to win the lobby now. Just break integer cap instead. Kill us, right? Right? 
Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Don't play up minions, you piece of shit. Got him, Chad. <laughs> Too bad this thing's huge. So, we get to build this thing really, really big, and now we need to play a Norse Spore. Uh huh. Oh, that is a big number. Too bad this can't kill anything. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to go here. <laughs> All right, now it's spores is what we need. He played down minions to, to uh, suicide our macaw. All right. You know, casual 600,000 health right now. could be interesting. Just take five. It's good enough. Mura for Spore? It's an option. Yeah, I should have probably considered it. I love it. I love the mind games. No, no, no. We gotta hit this one. You need to ping that thing off. Hey, look at it go. Another million. We got through a million. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If this thing dodges, we're good. Three out of four to be good here. All right, well, we're not good. I mean, we're still good, to be fair, because the Macaw has to take out the... the, uh, my Exen eventually. It's just a question of which order it hits in. Too bad, he gets the tie. We go again! <laughs> oh, shit. Six months. Bow for love, bow for the bow for Lee. <laughs> I love the uh, the emotes as it said out loud, which are not in YouTube videos. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. He's on six. He's just looking for more Maxnas and shit. Uh, that's how he wins. From our position, it's just a matter of can we get this to connect to Maxna early? What's your HP record? Uh, like eighty-three million, something like that. I think that's what the number was, right? The energy cap must be broken. This is more important than winning the game. I agree. Is another spore, but the spore doesn't do anything unless he goes first. Good thing we went first. Good shield. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, I would have preferred, you know, the hit go a little better than that. Like, whatever. Did you like one of them on here? No, the game just wants to break integer cap. It's all at once. It doesn't give one flying fuck about winning this fight. Integer cap is all that matters to it. All right. Go left. Go left. Fuck. And right, he wins again. One reborn my ex that has our number. We don't kill him in one hit either, though. Let's go, baby. Don't kill your opponent. How high can we get this? How about Argus. 
to try to protect our spores. I like how he golded the spore to get health higher. <laughs> roll for triple baron? Yeah, I think that's, um, that's kind of the roll. Reborn on my X, that may be good. If we get something to replace on the board, another spore! Another spore! It's probably way better than the shield, right? No, integer cap's more important to me. Integer cap is more important, damn it. Remember you're a content creator above a Hearthstone player. In this scenario, I am. You don't need bird. Um, Uh-oh, we lost. Spores live this time. But do we get integer cap? That is the important point. the fuck is this number? <laughs> oh. No. This guy's tryharding and we're over here memeing at fucking 14k. We finally got the hit into the poison. But unfortunately, this is the end. If we went first that fight, we kill him. <laughs> Should have played the other sport to win the game, but, you know, the fun factor. Too bad. Didn't break integer cap. We got a screenshot what that health is. Yeah, we'll come back to it and go look. This is, remember, the previous combat. Or previous buy phase, because it doesn't put the combat stats in here. So we have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 digits here. So that's 18 million initially, and how many procs hit on the Terracosa that time? Now this is just the previous buy phase. That's not the combat health that we got it to. So, let's bring up the VOD real quick. And check what its health actually was at the end. Bum, 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 bum. Somebody can find it on a VOD and screenshot it for me, or else I will get to it here shortly. Back a minute, pause the stream. How high did it get? There you go, chat, up on the stream. This is the final combat. What is this number? <laughs> All right, it gets, um, what is that number? <laughs> Spore was 70 million? What is this number? <laughs> we just got to count how many times it got procced on, right? Like it's starting health is in the range of like 1 million. So that doesn't really matter. This thing is 18 million, so every time this thing gets a proc, it gets 36 million health added to it, right? So we can approximate it really easily by how many of these hits landed here times 36 million. Plus 1 million. And I think it's only like two. One hits there. Boo. How big did it get? Yeah, it only got one, so it was only like 18 million health. Fair enough. So it's like 20 million is actually what this one was. So we didn't break our, our record. Spore got four? Oh, Spore got four, so that means that that one's times four, not times eight, unfortunately. So that one got up to 18 mil, plus approximately times four, right? So about 72, yeah, about 72 mil. Somewhere in that range. Biggest spore, 72 million health spore. There you go, there's your stream, or your uh, YouTube video title. 